here are five ways that you can build a regular, consistent speaking practice habit. So number one, schedule it in advance. Put it on your calendar. Uh, aim to do that earlier in the day rather than later so that you have more energy and you feel um, fresh. Uh, also prepare any materials that you need in advance. Have that ready to go. For example, a dictionary, a notepad, um, have maybe a method book or something that has some vocabulary that you want to practice. Uh, so have those things ready to go so you don't have any excuses. Number two, try to link or chain or stack this habit on top of something that you're already doing on a regular basis every day, such as your breakfast, taking a shower, washing dishes, uh, doing some exercise. Uh, you're more likely to follow through with this speaking practice if you can link it to something else. Uh, so that requires a minimal effort and you just follow through with that energy um, and you can link uh, several actions all together one after another. Um, number three, accountability. So uh, as soon as you make your kind of practice, um, tell somebody about it. Uh, check in with a friend, send a message on uh, like WhatsApp or, or Facebook, give each other kind of a virtual high five and just encourage each other, support each other. So if you can find somebody who's also has a similar goal that can help motivate both of you. Um, so the more people involved with keeping you motivated, uh, the better. If, um, if you're silent about it, if you don't tell anybody about your goal, uh, it, you're, it's a bit too easy to give up on it and nobody holding you accountable about it. Number four, keep it easy. Keep it uh, a minimum um, so that you don't get overwhelmed or feel that you have to practice for a long amount of time and that it's gonna be time consuming. So maybe at first aim for 30 seconds of practice, aim for one sentence, aim for uh, just a minute. Uh, instead of thinking that you have to speak endlessly for you know, five, 10, 20 minutes, uh, that feeling that it's overwhelming can stop you from taking action. So make it a very easy, minimal action, and um, that'll help you build up that consistency. Uh, and finally, number five, avoid perfectionism. It's very tempting to want to, to get everything right, get everything perfect, but that usually slows things down. That creates a lot of obstacles uh, related to it's, it's not ready yet, I'm not ready yet. It's not perfect. I can't. Um, uh, I, I'm. I don't want to do this. So avoid those thoughts because those uh, will kill consistency. But consistency is really essential for developing a daily habit. Um, and the more consistent you will be uh, over time, the uh, improvements will take place. Uh, you'll you'll get better over time but uh, you need to put in the place that daily habit um, as much as possible. So hopefully this has helped you. So once, a time, once again, that's um, scheduling this in advance, uh, getting things ready, prepared with that. Um, this is also um, linking it, stacking it with other actions that you're already doing so that you have a minimal effort to follow through with these actions before you get distracted. Three, talk uh, about this with other people get accountability, uh, partners that you can check in with. Uh, make it easy, make it a minimum effort that uh, doesn't require too much. Um, and finally, um, avoid perfectionism because that will kill your cons consistency. And right now, as you can hear, I might have some mistakes here, but I'm leaving it, I'm not gonna edit this. So hopefully that'll help you with those five ways to develop a daily speaking habit.